friends and fans of OSG, welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Alyssa Walther. And I'm Alec Jansen. And we're product engineers for OSG USA. And today we want to talk to you about a game-changing product that we call the AT1 OnePass Threadmill. And not just the AT1, but a couple of other products that OSG provides that help cut down on both your programming time and setup time. So before we get to that, if you haven't done so already, please click on that red subscribe button and subscribe to OSG USA's YouTube channel to get all of the latest and greatest videos from OSG. You can also follow us on Instagram, LinkedIn, as well as Facebook. The thread milling process typically begins here at the computer. Most conventional approaches would use a CAM software like MasterCAM to put together a program to put onto the machine. That's a conventional approach. It takes a little bit of know-how within the CAM software to get that set up. But once you've got that, that know-how, you can do that pretty quickly. If you are new to thread milling or don't have CAM software, it becomes a little bit more daunting. There are some interpolations, some circular moves that the thread mill has to make that's hard to program by yourself at the machine. For that, and if you are new to thread milling, OSG offers a, a complementary software called ThreadPro. It's available on our website, and it takes you through step-by-step -step to set up the program for your thread mill. This is good for AT1 as well as any other OSG thread mill, and it will produce a program that you can load onto any machine in a variety of different languages. All right, so now the programmer is done with his program. He's exported it over to his machine, pulled it up, he's drilled his holes, and now he's ready to get some threads into his part. It's at this time in the setup process that can be very, very time consuming. Why is that? Okay, so now the programmer's got his machine all ready to go. He hits the cycle start button and the thread mill does one hole. Okay, now what has he got to do? He's got to take his gauge, unlock the door, open it up, gauge that hole, that first hole. All right, say it's undersized. It's not, it's uh, the, the, go, the no go, ga the go gauge isn't going, right? So now he's got to think, oh, he's got to guess. I'm going to offset it X amount, say a thousandth. So now he's got to go over to his program and offset a thou and then do it all over again. It's a guess and check process that can take one shot to get it right or it could take five shots to get it right. But depending on how, how good the programmer is and how well he knows the size and the material of the, of, of the part, it could take a very long time. So the worst part of that is once the hole actually gauges to the go no go gauge, the actual fit of the thread could be on the high end of the class of fit or it could be on the low end or it could be right smack dab in the middle if the guy's lucky, right? But the point is, he's not going to know if it's settling on the top end or if it's settling on the bottom end, which means from tool change to tool change, the tool life can actually be different because some threads might be gauged to the high end of the limit, giving more tool life, and some could be gauged right at the very bottom most, which gives it very little tool life because the gauge gauges out very quickly. So that's an issue. Now, what OSG has to offer to decrease your setup time is what is called the DCT-75 Supplemental Tool. Now, the DCT-75 is a two-piece instrument set that works together to get you the exact amount that you need to offset to get your thread to gauge perfectly within the exact same location of the class of fit you're looking for every single time from tool change to tool change. So with the combination of this tool, this little, it looks like a gauge, this gauge and this gauge, the combination of these two tools will give you the exact number you need to punch in to your program to offset your thread so that you get the perfect fit every single time. And what this is gonna do is it's going to make it more consistent, your, your tool life more consistent between tool change to tool change. So the machine's all set up, program's good to go, the threads are in size. Let's watch the conventional thread mill versus the AT1 thread mill side by side. What you guys just saw was the OSG's AT1 thread mill cutting these threads in one pass, whereas the other tool was a conventional thread mill cutting these half 20 uh, threads in two passes. Now with the AT1 having only one pass, with the, with the way we set this up, the AT1 was able to reduce the cycle time per hole from 9 seconds to 6 seconds. That's a 33% time, cycle time saving 
per hole. And not only did it reduce the amount of cycle time, but take a look at the surface finish. You can see the surface quality difference from the AT1 threads to the conventional threads. The conventional threads left a rippled finish, which is an indicator that the tool was chattering when it cut these threads. And what does chatter mean to you besides poor surface finish? It means shorter tool life. Oshi's AT1 thread mill is a variable geometry design to inhibit chatter and vibration and leave threads straight, smooth, and chatter free. All right, cutting the threads is one thing, but they've got to gauge good to be good threads, right? So let's go ahead and gauge these holes. And just so you guys remember, this set of holes over here were the conventional were were used for the conventional thread mill, and these holes over here were used with the AT1 thread mill. All right, so we'll start with the conventional thread mill. All right, so as you guys saw, all of the threads gauged good for both the conventional and the AT1 thread mill. Now the question is, how fast do you want to get these threads done? Let's throw some numbers at you to give you an idea of how much three seconds per hole can save your company in a year. In our field testing comparison of a conventional thread mill setup to the new OSG thread milling method, we experienced a whopping 47% reduction in the overall time it took the programmer to go from program to running the thread mill. With ThreadPro, the programmer decreased his programming time by 64%. With the DCT-75, the programmer decreased the setup time by 30%. And with the AT1 thread mill taking only one pass, reduced the cycle time per hole by 33%. So what exactly is AT1? AT1 is OSG's patented thread mill. It's a brand new advance in thread milling technology. It uses a left-hand helix to help control deflection. It uses variable geometry to help control chatter and it has an advanced coating to help control wear. Those three things together mean you're going to be able to do one pass threading very efficiently without chatter and for a very long time with one tool. If you're interested to learn more about AT1 from OSG, visit us at www.osgtool.com, call us at our customer service line or call into engineering directly. And if you have an application that you want to discuss, go to our website and click on Virtual Engineering Visit. And there you can schedule a 30 or a 60 minute consultation with any member of the engineering department to discuss your specific application. So thanks again everybody for joining us today. We'll see you guys next time.